to another My Damn Toys video today, ladies and Did you see that spit? I don't know what the hell that was, but what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of My Damn Hauls, the episodic series where I get on here and showcase what I picked up from the week, what I've kind of collected over a time period that I haven't showed you guys, kind of, you know, a collective stuff. This stuff is kind of over the last couple weeks here, and sometimes I get so much ish piled up on this table back here that I forget what I show you guys. Like, I think I showed you the my mock version of the, the Blood and Guts Exploding Barbed Wire Deathmatch that it was all damaged, and I didn't know if I wanted to unbox it. I want to show I want to say I told you guys about that I want to say I've showed you all of these things but I can't remember that's just how much ish has come to the door I also just noticed my crowds knocked over happens almost daily makes me sick but today man we got some epic stuff there's some stuff that I didn't post on the channel that I found that is insane that I'm super excited about and then we also have some shout outs to some stuff that came through the door man that I'm so proud of and so happy of that uh, I'm just so appreciative of that I'll get into man but with that being said man let's dive into what I picked up this week I don't have any packages to open but I do have, you know, what I've collected here, and I think that's awesome, man. So let's find out what the hell I grabbed and talk about everything in detail and kind of get roughly on there, and maybe we can discuss some news or anything that pops into my skull. So the first thing that we grabbed, man, this blew my mind. I don't know why I didn't video it. It was just kind of a quick pop and stop. You guys know how the Target Tingle works, my damn Tingle. We've seen it multiple times effective on the channel, but usually it hits me in the morning time, like I'll wake up early, and then I'll just have the Tingle hit me where it's like, bro, you need to go to Target right now. So, uh... Uh, when my wife and son woke up, I went to her and said, we need to go to Target as soon as we get ready. So we got ready. We strolled in about an hour or so after they opened, and look what we found on the pegs. We found none other than the AEW Unmatched Series 3 Chase 1 of 5,000 and a J figure. How insane is that, bro? Just chilling on the shelf. Same way I found the Sting figure that you guys saw, I found the Anna J. I did not film it, but it was the worker was like literally on the aisle. I think that's why I ended up not filming it. I thought about bringing my phone out, but I saw like all the workers out and about and I said nah I'm just gonna go check whatever you know whatever I find that's cool whatever and I found the one of 5,000 chase did not expect it whatsoever it hit me right in the face and there it is super excited for this man gotta get a defender case but this is beautiful I was gonna trade for this and now I don't have to now I can just you know leave it mint on card whatever but it's in super minty condition looks incredible gotta get this guy in a defender gal I should say but I'm excited to grab this one next up we did also on the same toy hunt I think it was the same toy hunt I want to say it's the same toy hunt you guys know that we did pick up me more callus and edge we did a review on the channel well i went back and they only had one of each of these on the shelves we got the legends 14 road dog and china figures don't know how well these are going to do but i was excited to find these man the, these look insane i think they look great i cannot wait to i don't know if you guys want to see these in a double review like we typically do i thought about doing a patreon and then like like if there's some figures that i don't think are that popular that people don't really want to see may skip over those for the channel but maybe that could become a patreon exclusive or something to do the reviews for certain figures or depending on the wave and things of that nature. Similar, you know, the, the weaker figures in the sets. That's something I've thought about doing. You guys can let me know. But we did end up managing to grab China and Road Dog. Very excited to grab these and complete that set. And you guys know the x pox coming soon so we can complete our DX army. Another thing that I've noticed is a lot of people are finding Unmatched Series 3 at Walmart. So if you guys are looking for AEW Unmatched Series 3, it's probably hitting your Walmart right now. Both my Walmarts had the full set. No chases, unfortunately. Would have been cool to see the Brody Lee chase that's the one obviously I'm getting. I mean if I found another Anna J if I found seven Anna J's on the pegs I'm gonna buy them all you know I mean like what who who's gonna just be like I think I'll take one no one's doing that you know what I'm saying nobody's doing that so if I end up finding any chases even if I already have them that is something to look out for now next up we did get another AEW unrivaled figure or AEW unmatched figure from series three and that was Brody Lee I'm kind of on the case where it's no Brody left behind but I have turned down quite a few of them but for some reason I went to Walmart and I had a gift card and I was just like you know what I'm just gonna buy this Brody Lee I, I don't know so I, I used a gift card to buy this and so I, I went ahead and went with that but we have another Brody Lee to the collection, which is pretty cool. I also have a nitpick or a gripe that'll probably go up this week about AEW figures. I want to do a whole topic video. You guys know where we sit here and we talk about, you know, AEW figures or WWE figures, and I sit here and I talk and rant on things. I think I have one of those stored up in my brain, so we'll see about that. But we did pick up another Brody Lee. Very happy to have another one of these. Looks beautiful in package. And this one's also super minty. I think that's what ended up making me pull the trigger, is that it was so 
so minty that I was like, oh, bro, I gotta go put this in on, on ice, you know? So th that's, that's the reasoning. Next up, man, we actually did something cool, and I posted it on Twitter. So you guys know the AEW random grab bag, right? The AEW mystery grab them bag. It's like a pick three or whatever. You go to Pro Wrestling Tees or ShopAEW.com, and they have the random pick them of three, and you get three random AEW figures from, I think it's like Series 4 through 8, maybe Series 4 through 7, and you have a chance at a, at a, a chase figure. You have a chance for an autographed item, and it was like $49.99, so it's about $55 shipped to the door for three AEW figures, so I was like, that's a pretty solid deal, right? I feel like that's a pretty good deal there, so it's definitely less than retail, so I was like, you know what, bro? Let's just go ahead and try this grab bag. Maybe we'll get something cool. I ended up getting three of the worst figures that you could possibly get. One of those was the Series 6 MJF. This figure is shelf-warmed everywhere, and this one's beat the hell out of, so I'm definitely going to be opening this and having another MJF that is out of the packaging, which isn't a huge deal. This is actually my favorite figure from the lot. I also got the unmatched Cody from Series 1, the blue LJN, and I also got Hakiro Shida from Series 6. So two Series 6 figures. It is what it is. You know, uh, I didn't really expect anything crazy, but I was pretty let down by that. I, I wouldn't do it again. I'm definitely not going to do it again. I wouldn't recommend that you do it, but I did get this MJF and I didn't want to show off. I think Cody and Shida are somewhere else, so yeah, you get the point. Now moving right along, we have some more figures down here. Yesterday, I went to my Walmart and I actually have some custom gauntlets that I have not showed off just yet in a video. Maybe we could do We're probably going to do it on surgery. That's probably where we're going to do it in probably tomorrow's surgery video that'll go up. But I picked up two of the top picks Roman Reigns figures. You guys know this is the best Roman Reigns we've ever seen. It's got double jointed arms. It has the removable gauntlets. It has the t-shirt. Lots of good things about these Romans. I'll probably end up sending these head sculpts off to BEW because, you know, the ultimate isn't right and it doesn't look like they're going to be making a Roman head that I really love. So I'll probably get a few Roman custom head sculpts to fill out on the shelf, make the, the big dog, the tribal chief, look a bit better, make him look more accurate to real life, and I have some custom gauntlets that are going to go on these guys, so I figured why not fill out the Roman Reigns? I have a lot of Roman Reigns, but uh, having those custom removable gauntlets is going to be really sick, and we can create full attires for him, because I'm going to put the damn shorts on him, like he appears in the pick fed, so that'll be really cool to like do some custom leggings and stuff. Compared with the custom gauntlets, should be really sick, so we did grab two of the Roman Reigns top picks elites and I feel like they're not really below retail right now and that's the reason I grabbed them because I was hoping to find a couple like on eBay or something like that but I can't find it so we'll, we'll go with this for now. Two more figures we picked up. You guys know that when we picked up one of our Ultimate Edition Batistas, I could not remember if I showed this off but I ended up grabbing a pink Mysterio and then I also grabbed a Randy Orton. I can't remember if I showed that off. I know I showed off the KO and the Randy Orton but I couldn't remember if I showed you the top picks Ray and the Randy Orton so now we have two extra white Ortons and an extra pink Rey Mysterio for, you know, surgery purposes and things like that. So that'll be really fun to see and, and go through and find out what the hell we have. So I think this is my favorite Rey Elite ever. So I definitely wanted a couple of those. Maybe one day they'll go on clearance or maybe I can pick up another one later down the line or maybe the true is the same for Orton. But I was happy to add more of these to the... If it's a badass figure like this, these two are really, really strong figures. I'd say probably the two... Probably two of the best figures of the year. This may have been last year or like late last year. But if you can find both both of these, these are two of the most quality Mattel WWE elites that you're going to see this year. You need to grab them. We also had something that rolled through the door from Big Bad Toy Store, and we got our Falcon and Captain America two-pack right here. This is pretty gorgeous of a two-pack. I'm definitely going to open it, you know. I thought about keeping it mint on car, but I just, you know, there's no reason to do that, you know. I think I definitely need to open these guys up. Not going to do very much mock stuff on Marvel Legends or any Marvel stuff. That'll be very few and far between, I think, but this is a set that does look really good mint in box like it looks really good but i think i do want to open it up display these guys once we get enough room for a display and that'll be really fun so you guys can look forward to more shelves more craziness here on the channel as far as the room tour and setting all of that stuff up but we did grab that and i was excited to get that so i love pre-ordering stuff at big bad toy store because i just have a long list and then it'll be like oh you got charged then bam it'll just show up at your door doesn't charge you immediately that's what's so good about big bad toy store so definitely go check them out for a lot of different purchases other than wwe we, they're a great place to go. We also have one more thing that's hanging on the wall already, and I gotta give a huge shout out to somebody, but we also got some Marvel Legends here from my man Cody, aka Steinsenberg. So he did get the Ghost Marvel Legends figure. He threw that in for Freezy, so that's pretty cool. We also got the Retro Webman, which is pretty cool figure. I, I do, like, I've never seen this figure in person, so seeing this figure in person and how, like, the matte paint looks, the matte paint on this guy is pretty crazy. I thought that was insane. So we do have the Webman. We have a really old Doctor Strange he also threw in there. I don't know what way this is from, but he did throw in a Doctor Strange 
for free. And then this is the gem of the entire package here. We got the retro carded Spider-Man that looks just absolutely beautiful. Probably uh, one of the best Marvel Legends they've ever made. And it looks so sick. I had to have this in the collection. Now, one thing that I'm planning on doing with our Marvel Legends collection, man, is I'm really trying to build up. I'm not going to be collecting every single thing, but I really want to build up certain collections for displays and stuff to show off on the channel and for the room tour and just for everything like that and to enjoy. So I was going to use this as like a base animated Spider-Man, but you know, I, I heard in the, on the rumor mill on the grapevine that they were going to be making an animated Spider-Man similar to this, but everybody knows that Spider-Man is super jacked on that show, and so uh, this is probably just going to be a placeholder until we actually get the real thing, or maybe we never do get the real, maybe that never comes to fruition, so this will probably be a placeholder. I'll probably get a custom head, and I am going to do a uh, Peter Parker custom head sculpt 3D printed I got from eBay. I'm going to have BEW paint that thing up until we get an official one from Hasbro or somebody like that. Uh, that's just going to be a placeholder in the collection. I am going to get multiples of that and, you know, get it going on a, you know, a Peter Parker body and then on the Spidey suit and stuff like that. So we'll have to see about that and all those, but I was happy for that. Huge epic trade for my boy for filling in that hole. And today we literally got reveals of multiple Spider-Men that are coming in. You have the two pack that's going to be virtually this, but pinless, so it's probably better. I just made this crazy trade and then, you know, they release all this other stuff, but it's not a big deal. I still would have wanted this figure, so, you know, it all pans out. I'm just glad to fill in that hole, so that's good, but outside of that and all the stuff you saw, I gotta give a huge shout out to my man Paul Stover and his three daughters and his whole entire family, his wife, everybody over there, man, because they sent us this Chase 1 of 3000 Britt Baker figure, and it looks incredible, man. He just hit me up and he wanted to, to gift it to me, man, and that was unbelievable. I'm so very appreciative of this figure. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much to his entire family for this, man. I appreciated it. Even his daughters drew up a nice little MDT note. It was very special. It was very awesome, so I do appreciate that so much. It is hanging up there in all of its glory with the rest of my, uh, it's not my whole entire mock collection, of course, because you guys can see back here on the shelf. There's a ton of them, but it is up there with the rest of my chases besides Anna J, and it looks beautiful up there. That is a figure that I never thought I'd really obtain without purchasing it myself, so I appreciate that so much to Paul and his entire family, but that is every single thing that I grabbed for this My Damn Halls episode. Tons of stuff. We had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, you know, you got the Britt Baker. You have the Ch We had two female Chase AEW figures in this video, which was crazy, and we had plenty of other stuff, but now that I've done the Halls video, I can now proceed with surgery. That a lot of this stuff is going to go on, and we can mix and match and do all the great things. Should be a freaking insane surgery episode, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Definitely check it out. We have some epic stuff coming, and then I'm also going out of town again, so I'll probably be hitting up some toy stores and stuff while I'm out of town, and that should uh, that should bring it all together, man. But that is going to wrap up today's My Damn Hauls. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below on everything I picked up and what you grabbed this week. I'd love to hear it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like who? Who crossed the line this time? Probably, probably the AEW random grab bag. I mean, what the hell is that? Like, I, I wasn't expecting, like, autographs and chase figures, but I was expecting not to, you know, not to get figures that you could probably find anywhere in America. If you just went to a random GameStop, random Walmart, Target, you're probably going to be able to find those figures, and that crossed the line for me. You crossed the line.